The United States' commitment to the world today is the same one we made to the freedom-loving people of the world in 1941. That we will remain ready to fight any foe and defend any friend. 任内喊出美国捍卫的承诺，如同一九四一。美国前国防部长艾斯培十八日率团抵达台湾，将与政府高层谈印太局势。十九日会见中华民国总统蔡英文。十四日，他在华府智库警告，中共是最危险的战略敌手，各国的最大战略威胁。The greatest strategic threat for the 21st century for us, for the world's democracies, is China. I think the greatest strategic partnership that we need to build is with India. We got to get that right. China is still our most lethal, dangerous, strategic adversary out there. That a fight with China would be a global fight. The first shots of a future war with China will be in space, outer space, and cyberspace. 艾斯培重申，战略模糊已走到尽头，在美国国会、行政部门都应展开全国性的辩论，还需要教育美国人民，确保对于美国为何而战有共同理解，并扩展到世界各地伙伴。他赞同拜登表态，军事协防台湾。I think President Biden's instincts were right. We, we, we would should come to their defense, and he said it three times. I think strategic ambiguity has run its course. 艾斯培表示，抵抗中共侵略就是台湾的生存之战。香港已证明不存在所谓的一国两制，尽管中共还不具备渡过台湾海峡的两栖登陆进攻能力，台湾应投资更不对称的技术。The challenge for you, Taiwan is to increase that defense budget,、uh, invest in the right type of technologies, not purely asymmetric, but more asymmetric technologies. I think of thinking about lengthening and broadening your conscription. So that you have a, a real, true territorial defense force that acts as a deterrent, and then tactics to go with that. And then, you know, we need to do our share in terms of helping them, consistent with the Taiwan Relations Act. So those, that's the messaging I would send, and I think that's critically important to deterring any type of Chinese operation to begin with. 新唐人亚太电视胡宗汉、张东旭，台湾报道。